Hey there, it's Disco Doggy. Life is good. Without going into the boring details of my schedule, I got some time off. Pretty relaxed. Decided to do ooh, pet battles. And I see a crawdad, and I'm immediately grossed out. Oh, that guy's going to have a tough time. DOT, uh, weak versus elementals. Hmm... I think I'm just doing a, I think I'm at, not just, I think I'm doing five wins or bust, man. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of battles because I probably won't win them all. I probably won't go five and out. Um, so let's see. I don't want to get my deep bite going here because this dude is going to black claw and then swarm me. So... But the other option is to let my pump loose. Uh, I guess I will. Nah, I'll just do this and then swap out. So there's that. What is this swarm weak against? Humanoids. I don't have a humanoid. I should save that for a big hit. Maybe this guy tries to pump me. Okay, need to make a choice soon. Ah! That was a weird Pee-wee Pee -wee Hermanish sound. <laughs> that was probably really loud in the mic, too. Wow. Okay. So this isn't horrible right now. Now it'll be horrible. Oh, no, it won't be horrible now. Okay, so he slowed for two turns. If I put this up and then hit with this, 254, no, 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 that's not gonna get the job done. But what are you gonna do? That? Black claw me again? I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna come back to this guy. Hmm. I could clobber, deep bite, deep bite, then my deep bite is ramped up and my clobber is almost off, well, not almost off CD, but halfway there. All right, this guy. I'll take one hit with the black claw up, that's fine. See, here's my plan now. My plan is to let him pump up. The only way this guy's gonna do any damage, any decent damage is with a vengeance. So I'm gonna let him pump up. How fast are you? Oh, they're the same speed though. Shoot. Oh no, 325. Okay, cool. Check this out. So I'm gonna get hit with the pump. And then I'm gonna use vengeance with my beast racial. That was cool. Yay for vengeance. Oh, this is the team I just played with in my last video, huh? Oh well. All right. Okay, that'll get the job done here. Mm. Wait, is the last damage I took still... Hold on here. Disease by Black Claw... Fell MLH. I think the last damage I took was the. Um, <laughs> that was cool. Wow. Um, I just said the, but I think you figured it out. It was the um, the pump. So I was able to use vengeance twice <laughs> to great effect, much greater effect than I could have ever hoped for. And then this guy's done now. Do I need to do both things? 630, 693. Yeah, let's not let's not let him get that. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I hit him once here. Oh, I forgot about that. Now we got him. All right. Well, that was a cool battle because that was pretty smart about vengeance. That was that was a good use of vengeance. So. Um, you know, the last video when I was actually playing with this team, the, that was the focus of the video, I had uh, the Howl, and I just like, mm, I'm not going to use Howl much on this team, unless I could Howl on the turn that I'm going to die, and then 
use pump the next turn, but Vengeance worked out pretty darn well that turn. Okay, well, you've seen enough of that team. I don't really have any new teams. I haven't been making many new teams, so let's just play with some of these more fun teams. Hopefully we don't come across any imps or anything like that. Um, this isn't so bad, I don't think. Let's uh, let's watch him R.I. right into... No, R.I. goes first, right? Oops. Alright, well, could be worse. I pro I, I didn't... Th <laughs> I didn't think that out because I was thinking, oh, I'll put the, the mines down and then whoever comes in will have to deal with the mines, but that was pretty much a bad move because the, um, the Molten Corgi can just come in and eat these eat these mines now and take weak damage from it but looks like that's not that is not what is happening right now how are these guys gonna fare against Merkelot? I think they'll be fine no biggie here I fought uh, Sylvanas or sorry Gilvanas for the first time and uh, I was able to kill it before it brought its uh, it's other pet, the other pets back to life, so. Mm, it's gonna kill 252 and a little extra. There we go. Okay, so somebody's gonna eat the mines, and I'll be able to throw more mines down. Does this guy have a, a. Not a sweep. I can't think of the word what it's called right now. A wave. Alright. You can do that. Ouch. Now, how am I going to deal with this, though? I, so, well, I don't want to forfeit. That. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good plan. I mean, you know. How will I be able to handle the Corgi without going faster than him? There, I'm slower. I think this is probably the best way right here, just to... Put my shield up, wait for my beast racial to proc. That'll start doing 350 once the beast racial procs. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to kill him before he gets his next uh, heal off. Unless I win the toss next time. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, I need to win the toss here. Hmm... Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Cool win. <laughs> Came down to RNG. I think I still had a pretty good shot of winning, even without. That. Let's see. Falling Murloc. Is it worth putting my shield up for this guy? He might RI than Falling Murloc. Let me just do this first. Okay, you did that. I'll do this. Whoa, that was a cool sound. Uh, 50%. Am I going to block 50 of that percent? Yeah, I might as well do the damage. Alright. I think, I think we got it under control here. Not a real Merkle team, I should say. Um... Meaning, like, not Merkelot, Black Fuse, Bombling, uh, Twilight Clutch Sister. So, just somebody using their Merkelot with some pets that don't synergize that well with Merkelot, which I've done in the past, too. And, and you know, I'm always talking about how good Merkelot is, because he is. Excuse me. But if you use him with, I mean, he's good with the, like, the Black Fuse Bombling. He's good with the Twilight Clutch Sister. But, like, look, Karius Merkelot, 61.5%. Um, as a standalone pet, he's not that good on his own. Um, well, that was in the days before. Well, even then, look, when MPD and Graves was around, 84%. Uh, what else? Yeah, I've tried to, as you can see, I'd, I've tried to make a lot of... Merkelot teams like this I thought would do good and it wasn't 56.2% <laughs> um, 
Yeah, there you go. So let's see. What, what, what am I trying to do here? Why is this team so bad? Um, it's got Arcane Storm. It's got Savage Talon. Might be a good week to run this, but at the same time, some people don't understand that maybe with... Ooh, sorry. Distracted. Maybe... They don't understand that Merkelot's not that great on its own. And they're like, oh, I got beat by Merkelot. Pet battles are unfair because I read that on the internet. Um, but anyways, hey, plenty of event teams with my uh, with my Ravager Hatchling. You know, because it's a fun pet to use, but not exactly uh, great. <laughs> Let's go with Ravaging the Event. Mm, looks like this team did okay. Let's see. Pick me Marsul. Oh, it's definitely falls under the category of fun teams. Anytime I bust the Amethyst Shale Hatchling out, you can put fun or event in the name. Even though I don't put that in the names of all of them, you know. But okay, what I say I'm doing? Five wins or bust. All right. Okay, interesting battles. Lovely, actually. You know, like I'm not. I'm not gonna complain about. Uh, a Valk with all the other garbage that's out there now. But what are they going to do with the Valk? Um, I could flurry this guy twice. and Or I could flurry and then feign the... Uh, oh, I'm not going to feign the haunt. It's like you will do nothing of the sort. Okay. It's a good move, I guess. Um, you gonna dodge? You gonna hit me with that? You gonna hit me with that? Oh my goodness! I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed here with the head games. Okay, at least I didn't get stunned. What is this? This is an SS 325. So SS against SS. Oh, whoa there, Valk. What's he going to do with this? And what am I going to do with this? I probably should have brought my Ravager Hatchling in to take, uh, to take weak damage against Bonkers. But I'm too late. So, do I take that with this guy and die? How is that going to do against that? I think I'm okay. That's, uh, this, uh, this is fine. Go ahead and kill me off here. Oh. All right. He didn't do it. He's saving it. Yay. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was funny. It sounded like a fake yay, but it was kind of a real yay. I was really excited about that, about winning the toss. So now I'll be able to kill this. Is that two times in a row I won on the toss? Um, what are you gonna do? Oof. Three oh five. You're not fast enough. No AO. Well, I don't know. Does he have that AOE? No, that goes in the first spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this guy alive. You thought you were faster than me. Oh, actually, this dude is gonna be faster than me. We will get this. There's a nice. Little snack, please bring in the Valk. Nope. Okay, well. Oh, that was not the right move. That was not the right move at all. Should have dodged, my friend. Oh, well. All right, well, is that three? Or two? Am I giving myself extra wins? I did something, then I fought Merkelot. Oh yeah, I played with that event team, then I played with Little Bling. And then I played with Ravaging the Event. So, super fun event day. Um, hey, shall we bust out the Rocket Chicken? 
Are things really that fun right now? My tanky chicken is two and three. Uh, as you can see, I haven't had a lot of excess success. There's been a lot of suck, but just not a lot of success. Um, blasting poultry. This doesn't look like a bad team, man. Come on. Oh, it's not. It's totally undefeated. My undefeated blasting poultry team. Let me think about it so I know what I'm doing. I got the Jade Oozling. I know how to use that. Um, Inky. Oh, by the way, I think I still have an undefeated Inky team. Like, it's like a really... <laughs> 17 and 0. It got to the point where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to play. I don't want to lose my undefeated status, so I'm just not going to play that. Okay, but what can I do? Um, I've got to think here because I don't. I'm not familiar with this pet or this pet. All mechan. No. Okay, so we got strong versus aquatics, strong versus beasts, strong versus elemental, strong versus elemental, and what's that? An elemental or three? That's cool. Where am I going to use my Jade Oozling? I'm not sure. Actually, this isn't good. I don't want all elementals. Okay, you got to you got to be a superstar here, Anki. There's there's no getting around it. You have to be a superstar. Hmm. That wasn't very superstarish. Will this blind this? I don't think so. Okay, but it could have been worse. All right. Well, let's go under here. Okay. So far, so good. Inky mostly intact. Okay, what is this guy going to do? Spike me, overload. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my blind on CD. Maybe they'll laugh at me and be like, haha, noob. Okay, no, they didn't. I think here is where I'm going to sacrifice the, 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 the chicken. Because this guy doesn't have any heals or anything like that, um, I can I can take him down. I'm faster than well, I guess I'm faster than this guy too. But uh, and then I didn't want to bring in the the Jade Oozling on a swap. You never want to bring your Jade Oozling in on a swap. So do I want to keep that up on him for my next pet or do I want to do the damage here? I'm just going to go and put this up. How many? Three rounds, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Best of both worlds. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do it again. All right. Put that up. We'll go ahead and go for the whole shebang here. Maybe I should maybe I should try to heal first. Mm. No, I'm gonna play it safe and go go with this. Get one heal right here. Alrighty. If you put up your shield, I think it's only against direct damage, right? Oh, okay. Well, no shield there. Ooh, that can hurt. That can be bad for me because I want to be doing strong damage to oh, an elemental. But now you're a critter. Let's do this. Make sure I don't get hit this round. And I think I'll go ahead and take the damage from this. From this shield here oh yeah of course I should do that okay well that was that that that's why 
that's why you want to practice the art of coverage whenever possible. I think that's probably why I had this Anki here. I was pr I usually make up teams around the rocket chicken. I don't be like, hmm, what's going to be a good pet to fill in that gap? Oh, the rocket chicken. No, like that never happens. So usually I'm trying to make a team around the rocket chicken. Pretty much all these 14 teams. I'm like, let's be silly and play with the rocket chicken. Sadly, we didn't get to use his launch ability. But back to my point. Um, well, he's a, he's a mechanical with mechanical attacks. I better have some coverage against some elementals, and I did. And I had some pretty good coverage. And Inky, at that 293 speed, Inky, you know, can hurt. Uh, I shouldn't say it can hurt you, but it's it relies on speed with blinding poison and dive. You're taking a gamble because 293 isn't really that fast, but it paid off there. And we're doing pretty good with these silly pets. Let's look at other silly pets we might have. Um, I don't know. That's not, I, I haven't played anything with the with this pet. Shall I make up a new team? Um, eh. Ice Spike. Interesting. How much damage does that do? Oh, high chance to miss. I'm thinking maybe I can put some sort of lucky, lucky, um, lucky dance or something up on there, but that seems like a lot of trouble for something that's not that great, you know? Um, I could go with Murgle or Turkey. Um, strong against that. I could go clobber. What's his speed? Nah, it's gonna be too slow. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. So let's let's keep looking. Crimson Skipper. I have one team. Which is 0 and 2. Interesting. Uh, I tried to use it with lash rip and drain blood just to be different but obviously that didn't work um the grotto vol every oh no no irradiated elementaling we got to do this before we make a new team let's see i have two teams don't give me critters and capture the flag we'll play with capture the flag which is uh golden dragon hawk hatchling i love that irradiated elementaling and parched lizard this was my first team and it was called don't give me critters because critters are going to jack this team up man like seriously like all that elemental damage and an undead i mean it's going to be a massacre i don't think i got massacred by critters i think uh i don't remember actually but then i put this guy on just for a little coverage against critters i don't it's not exactly great coverage but um one thing that the parched lizard can do one thing i like about it is it has quick attack so if you are let's say facing a rabbit or a critter with flurry you can actually not just counter it w with having strong attacks versus critters you can use quick attack to take away its extra attack from um from flurry but we'll see um no critters liberty liberty and liberty they love the liberty. Okay. Um, that would be nice, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. It's never going to hit. Let's do this. Let's put up. We're going to have to dance around all these blinds here. Kind of an annoying battle, but not. I don't. I want to say it's not that tough because that only does 148 damage. And then. We got, let's go ahead and bring this guy in. And then we'll conflag with him. And then that only does 296. So it's not that bad as long as you dance around it. So here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put this up now. Oh, that wasn't a good move. That was a bad move. Oh, because now he's going to, it's only going to have a 50% chance when it comes down. Oh, 
or not. Oh, well, it was still a bad move because... <laughs> oh, man. I, I so make fun of people for doing that. Like, putting, like, end-of-turn nukes up when their pet is going to die. And I just totally did it. Or, or when when the pet that it's going to attack is going to die anyways. And Okay, it didn't die from that. Yay, I totally planned it to work out like that. No, that was a bad move on my part. Okay, um, well, let's go to this guy. And then we'll hit you with that so we don't get blinded. Let's just use this guy to, oh, that's probably not good either. All right. Sorry, I was going to bring him in to take a hit, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I'll be able to do good damage here. I would like to wait until my Dragonkin racial procs. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> We do need to get a burn up at some point, or a flamethrower, let's see. This feels wrong. I, f I, r I had a very strong urge to put in the... Um, the other guy. Uh, 493, 164. I might be better off with this just because it'll keep the burning up for for my beast if it hits. Ooh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble now. I'm in big trouble this game. Ooh. I've already used your blind, right? Okay. Two thirty one. Oh, barely. I barely escaped. I did not play that well. I am lucky to get away with the win. But you can see, um, quick attack. I mean, uh, every every kind of surge move is. It, it, it can pay off having a surge move because your speed doesn't matter. So, yeah, what, what went wrong there? Well, I put up that Elementium Bolt. El El Elementium Bolt. That, that's why... You know, let me back up a little bit. This is classified as like a fun team to me because I'm probably not going to take Elementium Bolt on, an, um, on a competitive team. Like, th this pet would actually do much better with Frenzy. But... It's fun to put it up. It's 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 a it's a fun move when it hits. It does a ton of damage. It stuns them. It's a fun move. I don't know why I I like it a lot. I mean, I guess you could say like, what's that elemental one? Um, geyser does the same thing. So why don't I like geyser? I don't know. I just like the idea of an elemental bolt. It might have something to do with just nostalgia too, because I used to like the crimson geode a lot. Um, especially the PP, if you look at this, it does 565 damage, but not a good pet in general. Not a good move in general. Any, any end of, end of turn nuke is not good in PVP. I shouldn't say that either. That's, that's, that's an overgeneralization. Most of the time, a good player will be able to avoid the damage or eat the damage wisely. Like when Deathwing was a big thing, and there were a lot of Elementium bolts. Um, yeah, yes, Deathwing was a big thing, and like 5.1, and I don't want to say 5.0 that, or, but yeah, I guess 5.0. The the earliest that pet battles were around, there were a lot of Deathwings, and people would, you know, that didn't that didn't get the 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 the, the pay to pay to win argument as much as of the pandaren monk like 
yeah, that's how much power creep there's been. Of course, there's going to be power creep, but people used to play uh, complain that the 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 pandaren monk was pay to win. So yeah, but anyways, I'm I'm getting way off as usual. Back then, when um, Deathwing would put up the Elementium bolt, I would just bring an undead pet in because like oh they're my tanks anyway, and you know, and then I'm going to take weak damage from them. It's not that big a deal. So yeah, but so how did I go wrong here? Eh, I put the elementium bolt up and then I not only did I use it, but I didn't use it well because I was somehow I was thinking that I was going to put it up, bring another pet in, kill the current lantern, and then when they brought their new pet in, the elementium bolt was going to drop on it. But I just mistimed it or thought about it wrong or something cuz after uh, the next turn I was like going through the couple rounds in the future and I'm like yeah that's not gonna work unless I unless I planned it right the first time and then I messed up thinking about the next few rounds but at any rate I used my my main CD that ended up doing 19 damage and not stunning because the pet was dead so that's probably what got me into trouble there but luckily quick attack paid off and yeah there you go parched lizard uh, two. That's two battles where I've uh, used used Ravage pretty well. Didn't I get heals on that that last one with with Ravage? I don't I don't know that it's really worth looking at. But um, uh, oh, we're way up there. It doesn't matter. This is going to be a waste of time. But uh, now I'm curious. Did I was I able to get some healing? No, I didn't. I didn't get any healing. But with the um, with the fast. With the Ravager pet, I was able to. I think of them as fast, even though he's not very fast. But Okay, well, five wins or bust went pretty well, I'd say. Well, I mean, can it go any better? I went 5-0, and oh, but um, more importantly, I went 5-0 and oh with fun teams, and I was facing other people's fun teams, and so I'd say it was an all-around fun day. I hope I didn't face the same person like five times in a row, because that's probably not fun, losing five times in a row, but... Anyways, we saw some interesting teams. Sadly, PvP pet battles used to be like the event a lot more often. Now it's like during the event you'll face these kind of teams and then they'll all go away and you'll run into your imps and your twilight clutch sisters and your darkness teams or twilights. So, you know, what can you do? What can you do? You can enjoy it while it's here. So I hope you're all enjoying the event. Um, done for now. Thanks for watching.